Welcome to Weather Forecast for the Week, beginning Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Saturday the 3rd, we have a new moon, so nothing to see there. Lots to see on the sun, though. The sun is still very active with all the clustering of sunspots now on the side of the Earth that uh, easily sends coronal mass ejections towards the Earth. So... Time for some aurora, uh, even at low latitudes. People saw some last night in Arizona, so interesting. Looking at drought conditions from a couple weeks ago to this week, a little bit of relief down here, but little change. Of course, drought conditions are a concern right now with the fires. We'll talk about those in just a second. Uh, nationally, not much has changed. We have some drought in the Pacific Northwest, down here in the uh, southern Rockies, and a little bit on the East Coast. Let's put the uh, smoke into motion here. I'll put the mouse right where we are located. You can see a little cool front Wednesday into Thursday coming down, not changing temperatures much, but bringing the smoke down the eastern plains. And uh, yeah, pretty nasty stuff. And then we got large fires out here in California that are also sending uh, smoke out across the nation. So hazy, smoky hot summer weather right now uh, we actually have a fourth fire now someplace not far downhill from Netherland but you got uh, three major ones at the time I pulled these graphics uh, the Alexander Mountain 0% contained Stone Mountain I guess is 20% contained now and the quarry fire down southwest Denver 0% uh, contained Precipitation over the last seven days is pretty meager, but some places got around a half inch or so, but it's spotty. Looking at severe weather for the entire season, the climatology of this, in the second week of August, you can see we still can get some. Um, not impossible, but uh, becoming less likely. Actual severe weather, no convection at all for Wednesday. Chance of a thunderstorm or two on Thursday and Friday, but nothing severe. For Wednesday, we have a cool front pushing down, bringing smoke down. That comes down on Thursday, bringing smoke with it, and a little chance of storms. Friday, a little better chance of storms until later in the week. So, our normal high temperature is dropping from 90 to 88. <clears throat> Normal night 10 temperatures dropping from 60 to 59. This is the beginning of the drop. So we are passing the peak heat of the summer climatologically. And you can also see later in this 10 day period, um, chances of storms definitely increase and temperatures moderate. Looking at uh, water vapor satellite, we have a plume here up into the Southwest for their monsoon. We're up here in the bone dry air, dry air, Smoky air, uh, not good stuff. Uh, we've got this big high pressure system over the west, northern Arizona, Las Vegas area for Wednesday. And it shifts just a little bit towards us on Thursday, Friday. Yeah, let's put it in motion. So this is the big ridge, big huge high pressure dome over the west. And it really doesn't change much. Here we go into Sunday. Monday we have north winds over... The eastern side of Colorado but that's not much relief we just have this giant ridge here in the high pressure center right over the four corners or Grand Canyon area there's this interesting tropical system here it doesn't have a name yet but uh, it looks pretty compact and intense so I could make some news for the East Coast folk <clears throat> but the ridge here all the way into next weekend is still there even with uh, it shifting around a little bit. Looking at temperatures, you can see the afternoon blob thunderstorms, those little purple things right there, and then the cool air left afterwards it moderates over the next day. And nothing in Colorado really until you get to Sunday. There's a little chance of mountain storms. There's Monday, chance of storms. There's a cool front pushing down into the great plains here backdoor a little bit by the end of the week cooling us off a little thunderstorms a little more numerous another reinforcing shot of cool out of Canada coming down like that again atmospheric precipitable moisture water uh, very dry 
in the northern and central part of Colorado through the beginning of the weekend. There's a tropical system down here. Here's a tropical system crossing Florida. <coughs> and then more moisture by early next week. So chances of storms do get a little better. There's another tropical system coming up past the Baja. There's that system off the east coast. And more moisture generally by the end of next week into next weekend. Looking at dew points, we start pretty low, 40s, 50s. We dry out some more, and then a little moisture tries to come back in. There's 30s, 40s, and then surface dew points still hovering in the 40s by Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, you can see 50s. Even some, by the end of the week, 60 dew points start inching in. Deep moisture coming in to the desert southwest and then that kind of spreads across the southern mountain states here with 50 dew points, 60 dew points uh, out east. Let's take a look at actual convection and precipitation. Northern New Mexico basically. Saturday a little bit of stuff in the mountains. Don't want any lightning caused fires though. For Sunday mountain stuff again then the moisture starts to increase and we have our first wave of storms out on Monday. There's Tuesday. And Wednesday. And Thursday storms. So <clears throat> things definitely do moisten up and storms become more numerous later in the week. Which has got to be good news. So the next five days really dry, very scattered storms. Over the next 10 days though, that's pretty good moisture for the mountains, front range, especially in the south mountains and southwest. That's, that's significant, so good stuff. We start out really close to 100 and then get to 100 and above for the end of the week. Still close to that over the weekend, could break 100 again. And we don't see a cool down and increase in chances of storms until midweek next week new month August above normal temperatures are expected below normal precipitation not very exciting so that's your forecast for this week this has been chief meteorologist John Ensworth wishing you to keep looking up